Hello and welcome to an exciting new episode of the Points of Interest podcast. On this episode, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Bob's Burgers, some wrestling, and an exciting announcement. All this and more. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the most generic podcast on the internet. My name is Josh Hawks. I am the 303 Ninja. And right over there, she is my podcasting partner for life, and it's been forever since she's been here. We welcome her back. It is the beautiful and talented Miss Savannah. I exist. We never said you didn't. I, my, pod, my podcasting But you could lie. <laughs> I think you need to change it to my podcasting partner on occasion. On occasion. On occasion. <laughs> it's been a stressful, a stressful couple of weeks. Yeah. My, yeah, it's uh, been like a month or so. Yeah, it, it, and that other guy is here too. Can don't worry about me. You don't need to know who I am. Nobody cares who I am, so don't worry about it. And Ooh, well, I hadn't part. got to that part, but even further over there is my podcasting partner for life. He is the other guy. <laughs> it's Mr. Francis Fernandez. There you go, Ginger. Heart, heart, heart. Right there, back at you. Uh, so um, what's up? How's everybody been? Oh, hey, look, here's yo our newest our newest follower is just jumped into the chat as well. Yo Media four twenty. Thanks for the thanks. Yo, for the Amelia. I don't um, think that's one of mine. So yeah, I was gonna say I, I don't believe that is one of your cult followers, uh, Savannah. So uh, we definitely appreciate people that don't know Savannah that join us as well. But hey, look, Yo, Amelia. I mean, that's like and 420. I mean, that's very much up your alley. On there. brand for us, yeah. T totally, totally. So yes, thank you for uh, the follow. 21 days ago, we did not do a show last week. Um, I didn't feel like being funny on the day where things were not very easy to be funny about. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess that's true. So right. we're not really going to talk about that, but we didn't do a show because I just I didn't think it was right to try and be funny, which I don't know if we ever are on here, but I'm just saying like it just it didn't it didn't seem like the right thing to do. So I, but uh, I've taken a sabbatical because I I'm trying to sell my house and I've been very stressed out. And also, um, I can't sell my house when there is a swimming pool in the basement, which I have also been taking care of. Well, that's, that's and it's, it's not, it's not actually, it's not one that you wanted. And it's not like no. you, uh, you it's not like you're fucking rolling in the money and have no. this, it's this not, swimming it's pool full of money it's in not, your basement. No, it's, yeah. it's a natural, it's a natural spring fed, a uh, swimming pool feature in the in the unfinished basement. Um, <laughs> a feature a lot of houses in the uh, I think that's the tri-state area you would call that. Mm -hmm. uh, a yeah. lot of, a lot of houses in the tri-state area have this weird natural feature. Yeah. From what I have yeah. been uh, informed about. Yeah. So. Uh, flooding's cool. <laughs> home home ownership cute. is awesome. Uh, yeah. You know so. Uh, as an update, my teeth are almost straightened. I have two weeks left, and I'm done. Oh, thanks, wow. thanks to some company Mild that won't Rex pay us. Sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. Give us some money. We have we have proof. Thank you, Teeth Align Teeth Alignment Center. <laughs> Dot biz. Dot biz <laughs> slash master Dot of raptors slash master <laughs> of raptors. Dot xx. Right. <laughs> uh, use code POI podcast 17 because we don't believe in synergy. Mm -hmm. right. Somebody's going to go to something like that and be like, I'm so excited. And there's going to be a website that actually exists. <laughs> <laughs> POI pod your face off. Uh, the, speaking, of pod, speaking of potting your face off, I would like both of you to know that we are a five star rated podcast. Uh, that is new. Is that out of one? Is that out of one rating? Yeah, but we're five stars. <laughs> it doesn't matter right. if it's one star or a thousand or one review or a thousand reviews. If you have five no, stars, no, I know. I was, I just, I just wanted to know, like the the actual. Yeah, yeah, it's one, but it's a five star review. It, hell yeah. Uh, also, uh, in the uh, most recent. Uh, episode that went up on the YouTubes. Uh, Francis, I would like you to know that the last two episodes are up over 50 views. Oh, good. Which is awesome. Here's the thing, people. Uh, I, I, I had the analytic part of it, the, the side of things. 
and there's only 40 of you subscribed. So that means that there's 13 of you that have watched it either twice, which, hey, thanks, or there's 13 of you that haven't hit subscribe. So, like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> but we're on our way to the road to 2000, so you can, you know, help us help us out. You know, hit those, hit that like and subscribe. <laughs> Had the wrong transition up. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, and then there's there's the like and subscribe, so you can hit all the things and and you know tell your friends. Uh, so, Francis. Wait, I know what. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question because I know Savannah has not had one and I have yet to have one myself. But I know you went out and got yourself a Mexican pizza last week. Mm -hmm. Since Taco Bell decided to bring one of my favorite items back. Uh, I heard a lot of people talking shit on the, online saying it was horrible. But as we just right before we hit record... Our sources at Taco Bell let us know that they are running low on 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 ingredients to make a Mexican pizza. I want to ask you, what'd you think? It was fun. I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think it, didn't think it was bad. I, I was really kind of surprised that um, like it did taste different. I was like, oh, I don't remember it tasting like this. <laughs> it was it was like soggier than it usually is. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, maybe maybe you don't remember the Mexican pizza. Maybe the mm. Mexican pizza has like I, I I'm just getting like a weird like brain fart on what Mexican pizzas taste like. But surprisingly, uh, it's because they do, they're like let's make Mexican pizza healthier instead of making it like a million <laughs> calories. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, well, it, is 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 the pinnacle of health food. So I don't I don't see the the issue here. Well, well, you know, in, instead of a nice a... deep fried, you know, tostada shell, now we got like some baked, you know, loosely, I'm guessing loosely held together corn bits. It was fine. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't like angry at it. Sure. I was just more surprised. And, and you know, they used to have like the, I forget, they, they, they called the fiesta menu where they actually did serve like sort of healthy food and mm -hmm, then they got rid mm -hmm. of it. <laughs> they're like oh yeah here's some grilled chicken on a taco and then no one ordered it it's like okay no never mind let's just deep fry everything again it's like oh yes well they do have like the fresco menu oh, that, which essentially that, they just, yeah i guess that's what just, it is yeah they remove um they remove any dairy essentially and like sour mm -hmm. cream and cheese and stuff like that which makes ordering for me very easy because then i can just be like can i get this fresco style and then half the time they have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about so i just mm. have to be like no sour cream no cheese please they're like what's a fresco and it's like oh is it those <laughs> yeah. things you see on a on a like a, on a wall painting on wet plaster hey like, no, hey do we, do we got fresco i'm also an art major <laughs> no i'm yeah. sorry i'm sorry man what uh, can you explain hang on no fre fresco no no we, we don't know what you're talking about you like how i did that Pretty that much. was very realistic. I, I felt like I was there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm going so, so I'm here at the Taco Bell uh the Taco Bell website and looking at their menu. And they do have a veggie Mexican pizza, weirdly enough. So they do have a, a vegan friendly Mexican pizza. They have a but there's probably still oh, a vegetarian. On it. Maybe it's vegetarian. It has the V, it has the green V on it. That is so, vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah, I did. So I did see that they did, they they did include the vegetarians and with the Mexican which pizza. is great. That's awesome. I mean, that's great. It's yeah. I just but I, no frescas. I can, I can eat. Um. Well, but pizza isn't pizza without cheese. So yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> I mean, I know. I have or I have ordered many a drunken cheeseless pizzas. To be fair, but a Mexican pizza is not a Mexican pizza without cheese. Uh, so. But, Okay. Um, I yeah. will say that Taco Bell is pretty accommodating, though, for vegan. Like, you, there's like ten different things you can get, which is great. So, that's all. I, I, I Francis As and I were, were in Philadelphia, <laughs> and I we both went to get uh, cheesesteaks, and I asked to, for them to go easy on the cheese. Oh and no! I get. We, I got back to the table and it was just onions and steak. I was like, no, we don't how do, was it? It was delicious. You're a liar. Like, 
It, it would have been a lot better if, had there been some like whiz in there, some cheese whiz, or maybe a half a slice of provolone or something. Well, it depends on where you're at, Francis. It depends on where where you're at. Cheese whiz or provolone or American or white American are your three options. They only have two speeds, man. Cheese or no <laughs> cheese. That's it. <laughs> so okay. they yeah. don't have any other speeds. Apparently so. Apparently so. Um, but, uh, speaking of things, uh, kind of being out of stock, funny little story. Uh, I, I've been wanting to get something and Uh my, my my wants are always exceeding my needs at all times. And your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Oh, big time, big time. And this thing that I have been looking at for the last six months or so has been in stock, has been on sale has been on Amazon's easy pay almost the whole time, right? Uh Uh-oh. And then I I save up a little bit of money. Work gives me a $150 Amazon credit. I'm like, hey, I I I can get this thing. I can almost get this thing. If it had the easy pay thing, I can really get this thing. But, oh, boy. Like, let's go check it out now that I have the option to. This thing, Mm -hmm. like I said, has been in stock on sale the whole time. The moment I have a possibility of getting this thing gone, (laughs) when it is in stock. That's how life works, yeah. When it is in stock, it's sold by some other party that's like, yeah, we'll send it to you in like a a month or so. And, oh, it's it's $150 more expensive as well. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Correct. So you didn't get your sailboat. So I didn't. No, no, I did not. I did not make. I did not purchase a boat. Uh, this no. week, no. Shoulda. No. Uh, so, you know, hopefully when the boat comes back in stock, you know, hopefully I'll have the ability to to get it, you know, or or it's it, or what I really think is happening is it's the universe telling me not to spend that money. I could, that's it's the universe I mean. going, do you really need another thing? Or are you just thing? need to go out? Can you tell out? us what the thing is? Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's the thing? The thing. Okay. Um, oh, so, hello. So you guys, you guys know that I'm into the, you know, the, the music of different kinds. Most of the time, when you guys join me on this Discord thing, I'm listening to some weird fucking music. Mm-hmm. So the thing mm-hmm. is, it's a, it's a it's a DJ controller. Oh, you were talking about that? Yeah. Hmm. To to mix music with play music and then you know mix music together like the like the kids do and i did have turntables and a mixer when i was younger but there was no youtubes in which to teach me and i knew knew i didn't know any djs to be like hey teach me so this equipment sat on my floor plugged in for six months before i was like all right time to get rid of it so it's not like it's a brand new interest. It's something I did actually have the equipment for at one point. But, uh, yeah, I thought it'd be something fun to learn. Fun to learn how to do. You're going to have to play that for us when you get it. Yeah. Uh, there is already kind of a plan. Oh. I have. I have. <laughs> if If I do decide to go ahead and get this thing, I do have a plan. But we'll, we'll keep you updated okay. on that. Okay. I have I have a plan. All but right, uh, the, here's Keep the your thing. Your secrets. Well, uh, the thing I guess the plan is I, I I would I would put I would actually put the practices online. The practices. Well, because I would be learning this on the fly, so I would just record. Watch watch me right. watch me do it. All right. If I if I fail and fall on my face. Fell ball on my face. Whatever. Wouldn't be the first time I'd done it. Um, but we'll see if see if the money is there to do it one of these one of these weekends. Um, getting complete silence from you guys. I guess I won't bring this up too many other times. <laughs> I mean, you have you know, it's hard to. It's not something that we necessarily sure why well, we do. Right, we're not, right. uh, I mean, I don't do it. Don't either. records. But- I don't either. No. I was but, just waiting you know, for you guys to comment on the fact that my dog was barking. So. We can't. We, we didn't can't even hear, hear it. Really? Really? Yeah. This 
I'm telling you, Discord knows what to do. Discord <laughs> yeah. is very good at like distinguishing barks and voices. Um, I've had I had to turn well, all, right, all of that then. I had to turn all of that off because it was apparently cutting off most of my uh, my speech. What Francis was telling <laughs> it's me, like, or voice, <laughs> we can't tell. <laughs> Um, but that, no, that's cool. I mean, look, uh, all I, the only DJ thing I've ever seen is DJ Hero, and I never played it, and that's as, <laughs> that's as far as it goes. I never did anything else outside of that. Well, DJ Hero was fucking amazing, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was. What's that? What's it? What yeah. It? Oh yeah, it was. Uh, it was fun as hell. Um, Francis, you do know a DJ, and. DJ you. Wolf. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was talking to DJ Wolf about six months ago when I got this little idea in my head. And I showed him the piece of equipment because I figure he's, I mean, he's the only DJ I knew at the time. And I knew Wolf. You know more DJs now? Yes, one. <laughs> one other <laughs> DJ. Uh, yes, the Avs are, are doing incredibly well against whoever they're playing right now, the Oilers. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, what was I saying? So I, I called Wolf and I was like, Hey man, I'm thinking about doing this. Uh, and he encouraged me to do it. And I should, I said, here's the piece of equipment I'm looking at. And he goes, Oh, this is one step up from what my 10 year old son uses. And I was just like, well, you know what? Well, kiss my ass. I'm, I have to get one of these things now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if a 10 year old kid, said it's a step up. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, what I'm saying, what I, I guess, what I'm saying is, like, if it, his ten year old son is already practicing how to do it, so I mean, I'm not saying that if a ten year old can do it, anybody can, but I just like to think that it, it it opens up the possibility of me learning something new. So I'm all for it. Well, I can't wait for your first rave and or. Electric Daisy Chain Festival, mm. whichever one. That would be a lot of fun to go to, to be really honest with you. Can't wait to see you in a tent at Coachella. <laughs> yes. It, with my mini uh, backpack. Don't, don't forget about us when you get famous. Right. You know, so. yeah. What would you name? What would you call yourself? I don't know. DJ what? I don't know. I don't even know if it would be DJ. What? No. Oh, okay, right. Because there's like a there's like a Skrillex and like a right, right. Like you a, could you could be a a a, a one name or a, a, a whatever. You don't have to be DJ Josh, Jazzy Josh. I just spin fucking <laughs> jazz records. <laughs> you could <can, you> <laughs> everyone needs a thing. <laughs> right, you could be uh, DJ eight forty. And you'd be like, yes, I'm just that high. And then, you know, that's like your gimmick. 840? Mm-hmm. Oh. Think about it, 40? John. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Sir Dabs a lot. Sir Dabs a lot. There you go. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. yeah, or, or, yeah. <laughs> Not, and every time you're out there, you have to dab, like actual see, dab. What, what would be cool is if you had some sort of rig. That you had to hold like that <laughs> to take the hit. You had to just, you know, that to take the dab. You had to dab <laughs> to hold the, the dab rig. Yeah. And every time you scratch the record, you scratch it like like you're you're you know with that motion. You just, <laughs> well, he, you scratch it. The, the the DJ that I know that's local. I was talking to him, and I was like, I I, I was I'm like, hey man, I watch a lot of these videos, and I I got to critique something. I see all these DJs that do the same thing. And why you have to imagine me grabbing a knob and twisting it. Ha ha ha. But they all grab knobs and twist it. And then they like, they give English to their hand. They like snap their hand off mm-hmm. from the, from the knob. And they're I, feeling the music. And I, I the drop. so I'm saying yeah. this and he looked at me and he goes, I do the same thing. I'm, like, <laughs> 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 I, it's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making fun of you guys. I just, it's funny how everybody does it. Everybody's got the same little snap they have to their to their hand when they release their hand from the knob. What's up, listeners, mate? Hey, hey, hey listeners, mate. No, I, I for like, oh my god, maybe five or six years ago, there was like this weird obsession with DJs because you know DJing has kind of evolved 
now to digital turntables. And so there's not a lot of scratching and there's not a lot of having to really do too much. And so they have the camera on the, the deck and they, uh, the, you know, the joke is, is that they just touch the buttons as if they're actually doing something, but they really aren't. <laughs> They and just like press it. up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah they just you know because they have a playlist already set up and you know the, all the software is doing the work. So they'll you know they'll bob their head, they'll hold on to the the, the, the their cans, like they'll press a button and then right when they know because they know they've heard it enough, they know when the beat's about to drop, and they look like they're about to do something and they don't do anything. They just press like some random button on the on the on the board and then like. Then they look in and they're like, oh, their hands are in the air and they're throwing it up. Like, yeah, look at me being so amazing. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Good job, DJs. <laughs> you have you have uh you have convinced me that uh I am I am uh, totally into your music. But uh yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, the, the, the DJing is, is is an interesting beast nowadays. It is. It is. Uh, listener's mate says that his brother makes about a quarter of his income by being a DJ at wedding receptions. Um, See, that's different. DJing at a reception is different. I, then mean, that's a little, I mean, a little bit. I mean, I mean, th- I'm sure there's it's, some DJs. It's being, a, it's being a personality too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's yeah. that's I think yeah. bigger than being able to to transition music is or playing the chicken dance is being a, you know being a personality. Uh, I was hired to be a wedding DJ, and I told him I was like, I'm a podcaster. I barely do that okay. Like, I, what makes you think I can be a wedding DJ? And immediately I had to think of, like, how not to sound like a stripper DJ. Because <laughs> that was the that was, first thing that, that came to my mind. the bride. Yeah. <laughs> She's not walking the aisle for her health. Get your dollar bills out and get ready for, for the bride. I was actually at a wedding reception. Tuck it in her when- garter, folks. I was at a wedding reception one time and, and the, cu- the, the wedding couples up there dancing and then dudes would come up with like envelopes full of cash, I'm guessing, and would cut in and, and dance with the bride. And then the next motherfucker would come up with a handful of money. Yeah, I'd never seen that before. I was like, what the hell is going on? It goes towards the bride and the groom and they like or whatever they want, or you know. Of the yeah. wedding or whatever, right. like yeah, sure. It's a bunch I just, of, it's it's just the, it's a way, for, you know, for the the guests to contribute to the the cost of stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Man, I just I never seen it before. It blew my mind. Uh, it's a very oh, midwestern thing, that's for sure. I did not know that. We do it over here, though. Yeah. Hmm. I've uh, I think every wedding I've been a part of or seen or had <laughs> well just the one <laughs> so did, did, <laughs> so when you were um, dancing did, had, did, that, did that fucking moment. people come up and cut in with handfuls of cash to dance with your bride yeah 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 and she oh, had and like a, and, they, and they attached it to her dress in some way shape or form yeah, yeah but then they would dance with him too oh yeah, well, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm mostly they didn't they didn't usually, but yeah, oh, they could. Yeah, no, it's both. Yeah. All the ones that I've been to with a dollar mm. dance, it's both. Like, there's always, you know. But let me cut in. Uh, speaking of weddings, uh, Michelle oh. and John had their wedding ceremony Ooh. a couple yes. weeks ago. Uh, yes. They were already for, well. I shouldn't say ceremony. They had their they had their reception. Um, oh. They were married a year ago, April first, twenty twenty one. Oh, twenty twenty one. Okay. I officiated that wedding. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Why April first? They that's did it such because a... they're like nobody's going to believe us anyway. So because oh. <laughs> that's, that's kind of yeah, that's the reason why you do it on April first. Like ha ha ha, we're yeah. fool people. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Uh, uh, so they had their reception was over and they had a bunch of people who needed to travel mm. and not mm. that it's over, but it's less of a risk now. Sure. sure. Um, and uh, they had a Michelle being, you know, the former podcast co-host of Speak Geek to Me. Mm. That's S P E A K. Sorry, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> 
No, it doesn't exist anywhere. Uh, however, um, so they uh, so they had a outside, so you can find where they're going. There's only one road to where you're going, but they had like a waving inflatable arm flailing tube man, full size, like full like 50 feet, yeah. And um, the best part was they so they didn't they didn't do like a recreation of the ceremony or anything like that. Um, however. When I performed the ceremony for them last year, um, I just had some generic vows that they did. They were fine with that. Um, and so this time around at the at the the reception, they just like they wrote their own vows, and that was kind of you know so everybody could feel like they had these like heartfelt vows, and they were cute and they were funny and this and that. But like every once in a while, because it was super windy that day too, every once in a while the thing would just like sneak in behind them <laughs> just like if you're looking out the window that that way it was just like hello i'm still here <laughs> but right. you know like hello i'm here I'm over here don't forget me guys <laughs> wow those are good so it was good but it was a good it was a it was a fun reception and oh. they had a taco bar and cupcakes and sorts of and free beer and wine and all sorts of fun stuff yeah, that so. open bar yeah uh listeners made it was uh, an open bar but they had they had uh, they had certain beers and certain wines that were free uh listeners made asses is, is dancing for money a new form so of I was drinking coors banquet all night uh listeners made ask if dancing for money is a new form of a money tree and then goes on to say that the money tree is a thing put out at receptions of weddings that the bride and groom ask people to put money on to buy things with instead of bringing a wedding gift they, they mostly do those online now well yeah like i they, mean now they it's do easy, that yeah. kind of thing like they're like where if you don't want to buy them something you can buy them like like they're like hey we're planning like my my sister and her husband did this they're like we're planning going to hawaii for a honeymoon, you know, you can put money towards an experience. Like we're gonna do a helicopter tour of the volcano, or what? You know, and so you can put money towards that. So I know, did you know, you feel like you're on the honeymoon with him. How mm. long ago did they get married? Because digital registries like that is fairly new. <sighs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's around the time. Yeah, right? look and see. Three? <laughs> I don't know how long have they been married. I did that wedding too. <laughs> I mean, I think, 13 years ago. I think 14 three, years three or ago, four, Savannah. That. If I if I remember correctly. Ago, 2019, though, yeah. 2019, 2018. 20, I don't, God, this is bad. It was just, it was just their um, anniversary, too. Oh, so. hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I was going to say, man, digital registry. 2019, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Huh, wild. So, yeah, wild. three years ago. Um yeah. So that's that's a, yeah. So I I guess I've I've never seen a money tree. Like I haven't seen a money tree either. But yeah, I. um, you know I, but I I do I I do uh, appreciate a a good um, uh, not money tree but like a, a digital registry where they're like yeah you know what if you want to give us something just put it on here and I'll be the happiest camper ever. I should and show you like, what I got for Michelle. Elle and John, um, they had their online registry, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, this is boring." They're just, you know, like they've been living together for like five years as it is. Uh, but they had this, this like statue. <laughs> oh, is that the is that the lion statue yeah. from like, yeah. like uh, it's a Disney? resin lion statuary in granite? Uh, so they asked for that and. That's what I got them. They don't take it for it. And they were very happy about it. No, oh, well, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, hey, yeah, I was. Summers, you'll probably get it. What? I said, oh. if you register for something ridiculous, I'll probably get oh, it. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. You know, well, something else that was pretty awesome. I got to experience last week. Uh, some friends of mine uh, here locally uh, that have a much more successful outlet than we do here at the points of interest uh <laughs> our friends over at nerd nerds that geek uh they got uh, a press greeting opportunity for bob's burger uh the movie 
and had an extra ticket and asked if I would like to join them, join them, you know, and go see it. And it was rad. Uh, I mean, there's people that have already seen it, you know, that now that it's out, I got to see it a day before, a day early. Um, no, here's a question. Have you watched Bob's Burgers before this was a thing? I, I watched most of the first season, so I was aware of most of the characters. I wasn't really aware of their, their traits or their quirks necessarily because I watched it a long time ago. Uh, so it was, it was actually perfect because I went into it completely unbiased. No, good. That's so, the way to go. Like you want to do, you want to watch these type of movies and not know, you know, especially you get to you get to watch it as a person who has seen the show. So you're like, is does and and now you know if it does or if it sucks. So I, I, I had a great I had a great time. Uh, it was weird being there with most of the the quote unquote press people were all restaurant restaurateurs, restaurant owners and employees. Oh. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, when when there was a pod, uh, there was a, some podcaster that arranged this this screening for everybody, and he okay. uh, when he was done doing his speech, some restaurant, a group of restaurant employees, who clearly shouldn't have been out without supervision, um, were screaming out the name mm. of their restaurant. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, just randomly, they're just yeah. like yelling, yeah. Yeah, as I said, well, restaurant people really right. shouldn't be allowed out unless they have adult supervision. Most most restaurant people don't know how to act. You should be allowed it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, um, Lister's mate does say if he ever gets oh, yeah, married. Yeah. Lister's mate says if he ever gets married, I'll be sure to have uh, the POI podcast that's super geeked up do a show at the reception. He also says I've never okay. never got into Bob's Burger and love the other Fox cartoons though. Yeah, I I wasn't I'm not a I mean I've watched a couple episodes of Bob's Burger and I don't I don't get it. I mean I do and I don't get it. Sure. <laughs> I, I get it. I no, I understand. No, what you, like I, it I understand what you're saying. One of my best cosplays is Tina from Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I have that's I, that's something one I actually of the, have seen. So it's one of the three pictures I have with Savannah. Ten ten years of friendship. <laughs> oh, there you go. T- check this out. This is the this is the best part. Ten years of friendship. Three pictures. Two of which I am wearing a mask in. <laughs> like so, who is the? Yeah, yeah. So you know, she doesn't want to say that she was ever around. Her friends in real life. What's that? I said we're friends in real life. Oh, it's sure. true. Yes, that's totally true. But I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. One what, what of these days you'll actually have a, well, no, there's been, I, you guys have taken pictures of each other where you guys, where Josh is yeah, it, it just covered up in a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I yeah. make it a goof. But for really, though, most of, most of the pictures but, that we have of first, each other, the yeah. first few, the first couple rounds of pictures it was all me wearing a deadpool mask and you and your tina outfit i mean you know worth it oh yeah it was totally worth it it was great we have to do it again sometime maybe we'll get to yeah uh Maybe we'll get to very soon. Do uh, you guys want to hear exciting news? I teased something in the, in the always I, in at the beginning there. Should should I spill it now? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, go for it. I I love you. That's good. Yeah. So uh, Denver Fan Expo uh, is coming up in next month, the first weekend of July. Um, as some of you may know or may not know, uh, I'm going to tell you anyway. Points of interest in its three different various forms it has taken over the last 10 years uh, has been covering the Denver comic pop culture convention thing because it's gone through like seven different names. of doom. Yeah, so we've been covering this thing basically since before they officially announced it. Uh, The team that put it together. Before the internet. 
not before the internet, asshole. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before they announced it to the public, they they did go out to a bunch of the local podcasters and outlets and said, hey, we're thinking about doing this thing. How would you feel about hyping it up and possibly covering it? And everybody that showed interest basically has been a part of the show since its inception in 2012. Uh, so it now it's now owned by Fan Expo. Last November, the, the same PR team that had been running the PR this whole 12, 10, 12 years uh, announced that that was going to be their last year. So I knew that I was going to be basically starting over from zero. Longer story short, I have been accepted. Points of Interest has been accepted for the eighth year, I think, at whatever the show's called now, Fan Ex uh, Denver Fan X or Fan Expo Denver. Um. I'm excited. I, it, Fan Expo, from what I've heard, is a tough cookie to get into or a, a tough egg to crack. So I, I just I'm excited to to uh, continue to cover my home show. I guess. Does that mean you'll have now access to Fan Expo Toronto? Um. Ooh. I mean, I know somebody that if that were the case, it, how pissed off they would be if I did. But, uh, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh, probably. Uh, our buddy Jason up Why? in Jason up in, in Toronto. See, doesn't he always get access every year? He does not get press access. He is still gorilla potting at Fan Expo Toronto, Toronto oh, Fan wow. Expo. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. Now you have to. Now you have to get now it. Now you have to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now you have to get it and be like, hey, man, I just want to let you know. <laughs> I got I got a pass for you. <laughs> who's got pre- <laughs> two thumbs and a press pass to Fan Expo Toronto? Yeah, this yeah. guy yeah, and so. not you. Uh, but uh, no, excited to to see what uh, Fan X put on a show. Like I said in November, it was about a seventy five percent of what they planned to do, and it was already pretty big at seventy five percent. So I'm very interested to see what a hundred percent run show from Fan X was going to be is going to look like and be. Um. So yeah, that's my big exciting exciting news. I've been kind of riding on that high all afternoon. Uh, the people at work, it's really high to be. Well, you know, the people at work they didn't understand. You know, I, I got the the buzz in my pocket, and I was like, "Ooh, let me check my email real quick." And I looked, and I got all excited, and they were like, "Holy crap! This is the first time we've seen you smile at work, Josh. What's going on?" <laughs> Something's happened. Why is Josh happy? Yeah, yeah, basically. I don't, know. I don't feel right about this. They're like, for the guy that doesn't show emotion. Nice, at- let go. <laughs> Later. Yeah. For the guy that doesn't oh, show emotion at work, he's showing a lot of emotion at work right now. So let's let's go check on him. Nice. Why is Josh crying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, just like I said, I'm, I'm pretty st- stoked and excited, and and I just I don't know. They're, they're, I like I like uh, the pressure that I I I feel in these situations because I think it helps me perform i don't know i don't know francis can probably you know. attest to that <laughs> better than anybody else here oh so. yeah yeah getting press access is like you know it's like the viagra of conventions mm. like you just feel like you can well you say that you can perform so i'm like oh well <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> give yourself anywhere up to it's 15 exciting, though i mean when i got the uh... oh. when you got what I was gonna say when I got the Star Wars Celebration one, I it was like holy shit. How did it, this happen? Um, yeah, that I, I forgot to write that down, but that Star Wars Celebration did just happen this past weekend. Um, we were mm-hmm. the three of us supposed yeah, to be there. Anything. We were supposed we to be there. there. We we could have watched everything there, but we decided all you know, three of us we, to not watch anything. If we of applied it. under, if if we applied under Speak Geek to me, we would have been in there. Oh we right, been, right, right. We've been there like two seconds. We've been in there, but we didn't. Uh, See what I think we should Blind do. Is, speaky to me, so we're like. No. <laughs> see what we should have done is gone under points of interest. See, since apparently now nah, that too yeah. points of interest has all the, well, the name yeah, now. Not, not oh oh. oh. <laughs> no, I, <know. laughs> I was okay. trying to be. I was oh, trying I to be a smart I ass. See, I see. I was trying to be a smart ass. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Dick. Well, you're right. Well, you're not wrong. You're not definitely not wrong. Um, yeah, no, we, I, I, you know, um, 
uh, an old friend of ours was supposed to go, didn't end up going, unfortunately. But another friend of ours did end up going, and I was really surprised <laughs> that they were there. Uh, actually, I, uh, a friend that we know, and then people we used to be in a podcast group with actually went. It would have been cool to meet them had had we. Uh, Ooh, who's that? Uh, and now I'm gonna blank on names because stand by. I want to make sure I get the name right. Was... I know his name's Josh. I know that much. Oh well, everyone's name is Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh Royal Shram. Is this your number of Jamie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And his wife. Oh, he was there. Okay. I believe his wife is Tabitha. Um, they ran yeah. a wrestling podcast, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they still run it or not, but they were out there and got to take a bunch of pictures with uh, Star Wars people. So it was really cool to, it would have been really cool to uh, gotten a chance to meet them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to our contemporaries, yeah. yeah. No, it's a, it, it was very much, um, I don't know, there was news. Did anyone care about what happened? What came out of Star Wars Celebration? I, I saw some stuff this afternoon. Um, it looks like they're going to do the live action Ahsoka show, which I think people kind of already knew or knew was coming. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. There's an Andor show coming, which, I mean, you want to talk about a deep cut? Jesus Christ. Um, no. What happened if then? Never mind. What? Said what happened if then if they have an and or where's if oh, Jesus Christ? <laughs> Leave. What? Leave. <laughs> Leave. Leave. Oh, it, Discord shit all over you mm. when you started doing that. So all I heard was Lee. Uh, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> yeah, she said Bruce, and I'm, I said Lee. Um, a, lot, a lot of cartoon hmm. stuff coming up. A uh, live action Sabine. From the Rebels cartoon show, which will be pretty cool. What? Um, um, Bad Batch uh, season two, I guess. Yeah, you know, there's um, some other. There was another cartoon and a sequel to the the. If fall. there's gonna be a live action. A live action what? Oh, the game Fallen Order. If there's gonna a be a live action Sabine, does that mean that we're gonna get more Obi Wan? I think if there's I mean, going to be, so. I, I, so. I think if we're going to get live action Sabine, that we're definitely getting Thrawn at some point. And if we're going to get, if we're going to, if they're going to, even the fact that they even mentioned Thrawn, that means that they have plans for it, which means that we might actually get the end of the story of Rebels to figure out what happened to Ezra. Because at the end of the of the Rebels cartoon, well, he, it's Thrawn and Ezra being shot into hyperspace on a on a space whale or something like that. Well, he's supposed to show up in the Ahsoka sh- the Ahsoka show. Dude, oh Discord God. is just shitting all hiding. over us. What? Not really. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's just. Uh, it's, no, I'm just saying. That- just saying that the Aladdin guy is playing Ezra in the live action Ahsoka. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I maybe my, I don't know. Um, it might be just your internet. <laughs> I think it's you, Josh, because I'll say stuff, and then and then and you won't. Hear hear it for like five seconds mm. Mm. yeah it's it's because mm. i have completely mm. shitty internet that's why i have i have no control internet. over it. one one day I mean, when i grow up maybe, one day maybe i'll have better you know, my sister might be selling her condo uh, you your sister oh, is you selling go. her condo the thing is that her condo is fucking like eight billion dollars yeah yeah. Is it really? That's why, that's why they're selling. It's not eight billion dollars, but that's why they're selling it. <laughs> like, man, wow. Because they were they, they were gonna keep it for a while, build equity, but it's it's in uptown Denver, and you know. How close will you be to work after you move in? <laughs> uh, it's about the same distance in time, really, because of where they they're in. They're kind of in like uh, North Denver. Oh. Uh, Perfect. What, was, what, what was the what was the giving up the hands? What was that? 
what? I said perfect. Oh. I don't know what you were saying perfect to because I was in the middle of saying something. <laughs> the perfect that it's only uh, it's only it's this, it's only a short distance to your work. Oh, okay. I'm like there you go. Yeah, fucking you, you got it. That now you have now you have to get it because it's right there. It's like it's a it's a short distance from it's not you're not going to lose it on commute time. You're going to be you know, you practically walk to work from your new home. Shit. Oh man, it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, that that would be awesome. <laughs> You know what? I, I would walk to work to have better internet. <laughs> Not only better internet, but you're going to have like a studio. <laughs> like, dude, look at that. Your own bedroom and then a room for all where you can podcast in and DJ. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. DJ. Yeah. And, and, and oh, hopefully, man, watch, hopefully watch more than 56 kilobytes of internet go through the, uh, the software. Hey, you got dial up over there. Yeah, you have a yeah. 40, that's 40. that's that's what I'm working with right now. I'm 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 struggling between 2,500 and uh, 56 kilobytes a second right now. You're like, <laughs> hey, you're, you're blinking off the house. Don't don't pick up the line. I'm yeah. on the internet, mom. <laughs> yeah, I I I I do not understand. I do not understand whatsoever. Um, don't, so don't before the phone line. So before this gets Sorry. before this gets any worse, um, Obi Wan came out. If you haven't watched it, check it out. First two episodes were a lot of fun, a lot of character introduction. Um, the person that gets offed in the second episode isn't offed at all. Nope. nope. Um, we know this because the same character shows up later in Star Wars Rebels. Uh, so, yeah. Interested to see where it's going to go. I thought it was really cool that uh, Ewan McGregor, um, he's the same age as Alec Guinness was, Sir Alec Guinness was, uh, when they made The New Hope. And he, I don't know if he like went back and restudied Alec Guinness mannerisms, but several times during the first two episodes, I'm like, am I watching Ewan McGregor or uh, the uh, Alec Guinness? stroking his beard yeah and he's like, yeah just you know. little tiny things like that and i was just like holy shit definitely worth watching savannah i definitely think you should try and watch it before we uh i just i was i was uh, you shit as you know on. at the lake house mm. i was at the lake house lake house with buffer this weekend so yeah so uh yeah, definitely well, definitely try and uh okay. give that give, give that a look see because it's fun it's only um, six episodes yeah, it's it's short. It's gonna be really. I thought short. it was seven. Nope. And six. then I heard that Ewan McGregor came on stage. I heard Ewan McGregor came on stage. It was like, oh, by the way, it's actually ten, and then just left. <laughs> oh, that'd be <laughs> like, awesome. Wouldn't answer any questions. Like, wouldn't just like was like, oh, by the way. I mean, maybe. Uh, I. I mean, I mean, on in a single day, and, and now it's Wednesdays, so. <laughs> Check your calendars. It's Wednesdays now. Oh, well, so much for being a Friday <laughs> show, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they moved it to Wednesdays, apparently. All right, well, check, so. it, out. check it out. Check it out. Um, last thing, uh, because this, this internet is driving me up the fucking wall. Um, AEW put on their, their big pay-per-view this past weekend, and really the, the couple things that come out of it, CM Punk is now your AEW world champion. Yay. That's awesome. Uh, but the big story coming out of it is a wrestler uh, the day prior no showed a meet and creep. And uh, I don't know what that means. You know what a meet and creep is? A not meet, a meet a, and creep. I know what a meet and greet is, but not that's a meet what they and are. Creep. They're all meet and creeps. Oh, the same thing. Yeah. No, they're all the same. No, that's what I'm saying. There's never been, nobody's gone to a meet and greet because they're always fucking creepy. There's always some fucking creepy motherfucker at a meet and greet <laughs> that's like, ah, oh, I've been, yeah, I'm your biggest fan. Here's a thing that I fucking sewed for you. And the person Out takes of human it. human skin. Yeah, and then the person takes it very nervously. And then when the person <laughs> that handed it off isn't looking, the person that received it hands it to their handler, like, get rid of this. So meet and creep. I've I've called a meet and creep. You realize that's what I hope will. 
but that's that's what I hope we, our level of fame will become one day is where people will come up and give us a hair shirt or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because of all the hair shirts that we've <laughs> talked about over the last dream. hundred and whatever episodes. I didn't watch it, but who no showed? Uh, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Oh. M MJF. Uh, oh. There's, according to the dirt sheets, there is a lot of heat in between he and the owner of AEW to the point of AEW took down the video of his the, the the preview of his match off of YouTube prior to the show because they weren't even sure if he was going to show up according to well, they're thinking he's going to they're thinking if he's going to sign up with WWE now as a result uh, there is a lot of talk of that he's apparently under contract for another year but um, he and the owner apparently are going to have a sit down talk and try and figure something out the convention or whoever it was that put on the meet and creep uh people paid 100 plus dollars to get a picture and autograph with him prepaid and he no showed and Did they get a refund? there were refunds issued and there was mm -hmm. also um mm -hmm. accommodations mm -hmm. made like hey mjf isn't here but you know um fucking sting's done doing his signings but you know we can we can get you a meeting with sting you know, whatever they did. I, I have like no from idea. the police. No, I knew you were going to say that as soon as I said it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you had to, pick, you had to pick, you had to pick that name of all the wrestlers in, in, in AEW pick sting. <laughs> Someone, the, 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 the common person is going to go from the police. The motherfucker that's saying Roxanne and shit. You know, I mean, you're talking about meet and creeps. Every, I mean, breath, every breath you take, take. Yeah, I'll be watching that's true. you. That, <laughs> the guy saying about prostitutes. Well, was right. The, the guy sings some... about prostitutes and being a stalker. So, okay, yeah. I, I think because you know Sting. So that's a that's a great place to end it. <laughs> well, let me let me go and ruin that then. Uh, I think the world has been in okay. such a shit problem, not because Harambe was killed, but because Sting practices tantric sex and hasn't come in 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a build up. Yeah, so somebody, I don't know if, if Sting has, has a significant other or partner, but somebody needs to like jerk him off so the world can get back to a better place or something. Not no. it. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely not it. I mean, maybe if he was singing Roxanne, maybe, but yeah, I said it. Cry two tears in the bucket. Um, internet's failing, so <laughs> Francis, where can people find you on the internet? <laughs> You're not going to be uh, jacking off Sting, but you can find me. <laughs> this is where we're at, uh, folks. That's where, that's where, yeah. I mean, that, that's the where worst we are. in you guys, apparently. Look, yeah. when, 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 uh, the internet, when the internet gets down to 89 kilobits a second, I, I, can't, I can't do this. So, uh, it's all good. Um, no, uh, yeah, find me at uh, Is This Love? At dot podbean dot com for the new podcast. Yes, there's f f about four episodes in, and fifth one's coming soon. People are seem to be enjoying it for the most part, and go check it out and take a listen. And let's 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 let's, let's solve the world's love problems one tantric orgasm at a time. Mm, mm. Just Sounds not... like you have a new episode. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh <laughs> exactly. yeah, exactly. Savannah, <laughs> where can the people find you on uh, Instagram? No, Twitter. Excuse me. Nope, just Twitter. Just Twitter. It's uh, at Master Raptors, and that's it. And I tweet no. once every 10 years. So. I mean, she'll flood your time. I'm lying. Just be careful. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yep. <laughs> just flooded. Just, just like, like basement. my basement and not even the good kind. Um, but one last thing from listeners, mate. Uh, I wonder if Sting made tons of money during 2020 because of social distancing. 
don't stand so close to me. Don't stand. Yeah. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listeners may give yourself up to 25 points for that one. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at 303 underscore ninja on the Instagram at 303 Insta uh, 303 Instagram. Yeah, that'd be awesome. 303 ninja on the Instagram. Uh, just find me at some local convention. Uh, call, text, or voicemail 7-314-764-7631. Uh, Email us at thepoipodcast at gmail.com. And we will see you next Tuesday, same bat time, same bat channel. And uh, yep, that's it. Bye.